I will show you how to publish your uh, images to a local registry which, which runs on your computer within your local area network. Uh, so you can use that by all computers within your local area network. And I will show you how to publish your uh, images to the Docker Hub. Eh? So to uh, hub.docker.com. So first I will start by making a um, directory. And within this, this directory, I will create a Docker file. So just by example, I will start as a base image. I will start from Ubuntu. I will add the version because otherwise it will update. It might update. I will run apt update to get the latest packages lists. It will load uh, the packages so then it can find uh, the package uh, PSD games, which I will install. So by example, I will uh, use the game um, Hangman. Uh, so th for uh, this part is for the, the image. The image will contain standard Ubuntu with an extra package BSD games. Um, the command I run will be uh, user games hangman. Next thing I do is I build the image, docker build. I will tag it with the name hangman image. Man image. Hangman image. And I will use the current directory, the docker file from the current directory. So it will, it will load, uh, it will get Ubuntu and it will install this extra package. Uh, when I look at the list of images, you'll see the hangman image is uh, located there. Um, then, um, next thing I can test the container, I can do a docker run. Run, uh, I might name it um, hangman and I, I'm gonna run it interactive and with a terminal because it's a terminal game and I will run the hangman image um, voilà. so it starts the container starts in Ubuntu and only starts the game so I can use uh, the game um, and when I stop the game uh, the container is finished so if I do a docker container ls it contains no containers if I do ls minus a all containers then it, you will see that it stopped a few seconds ago thing that I will do now is I will create um, a registry a local registry which runs on port 5000 um, to create a local registry uh, you can use the regist registry image so I do a docker run um, I run it as a daemon and I will map my own host port 5000 on my computer to the port 5000 within the container so that everyone in my local area network can access through my port 5000 can access this uh, race tree um, I might uh, add the option restart uh, always so that when my machine restarts it will restart the container too I might give it a name the container name registry and I will start up the registry from the, uh, the standard registry from the docker hub which is at version 2.7 right now to get the latest version okay can find, find the image so it will uh, get the uh, image uh, from the docker hub and it will start the image so if I do a docker container ls you'll see that it runs because it's a daemon it stays uh, running uh, and it's mapping port 5000 from my computer to the 5000 within the container eh? so that everyone can uh, get this now uh, if you look at the list of images that I have uh, you'll see 
that there's uh, I have three three images. Uh, the hangman image is there, but I can't use uh, just this image uh, to uh, and push it to the local registry. I have to uh, re-tag it, or I can even rebuild it. I can do a Docker uh, build. Uh, well, I can take the previous command, a uh, Docker build, um, and I don't call it hangman image, but I'm going to call it. Um, I'm going to give the location of the registry which is localhost or it might be your um, host name if it's uh, known or it might be your IP address uh, instead of localhost so I say at the, at port 5000 and, uh, and you have to call it a hangman image I can rebuild it but uh, and you'll see that in the list of images it will uh, create a new tag uh, it, uh, which is localhost, uh, which uh, points to the location of the registry. But you see in the image ID that it's just the same image image uh, as before. It's, it, so it's uh, in fact re-tagged. Uh, the image uh, stays the same. Um, this way I can um, push this image to my local registry. The previous image, hangman image, was located on my hard disk eh, of my host, uh, but was not accessible by other um, hosts within the network. This uh, location, port 5000, is, is uh, accessible from within the network. So um, when I push it, everyone else within my network can use it at this port 5000 of my machine. So I, I do a, a docker push local host, local host on port 5000 i use the same tag uh, as here local host 5000 uh, with the name hangman image voilà. now it's pushing it to my own machine but on the network um, that means when i run it uh, that it will take uh, the image uh, from the network. Um, you can look at the location for this. If you look at the location, it's located, you can ask uh, the catalog. It's located at port 5000 uh, slash v2 slash underscore catalog. If I ask this location, you'll see that the hangman image is uh, located uh, within this uh, repository. Okay, for the uh, Docker Hub, um, I have to. You do have to create um, a username at the Docker Hub. Mine is here, uh, Jan Celis. Um, I do have a username and a password. From the moment you do have a username and a password, you can um, uh, use this to log in. You can do a Docker login. Um, when it, uh, now I already did this, so it will say login succeeded. But otherwise, you do have to uh, generate a, a, a use your username and your password from the Docker Hub uh, in at this location. Um, it says lo lo login succeeded, so it knows to have access to the Docker Hub to my own uh, Docker Hub repository. Um, how can I use this repository? I can do a, a build, a rebuild uh, like this. But I can also use uh, the docker tag command to re-tag it, which is in fact the same as a rebuild. So in fact, I can use this localhost 5000 hangman image and or the other hangman image because it's the same. And I can re-tag it with my username, my docker hub username and uh, the name of the image hangman image I will use online. Well, it's re-tagged. Uh, if I look at my Docker images, you'll see that I have three images. This one is the Docker Hub uh, version because it has my ID and I did the Docker login. Uh, this is the local network version on my port 5000 within the local network here. And this is the version on my own disk. Yeah? But you'll see that uh, Docker knows it's uh, the same image ID. It's exactly the same image with another tag. In or, uh, to push the image to uh, the Docker Hub, I can use uh, the name and it knows that this username, it will search this username on the Docker Hub. So if I do a Docker push uh, with my username from Docker Hub and hangman image, then you will see that it starts uploading the image 
to watch towards the uh, Docker, uh, the hub punt Docker punt com to my own uh, repository there. Uh, that takes some time. I might even add a version number, so I might say hangman image uh, double point and then uh, one or v one. Um, uh, now, if I don't put in a version, it will just say latest. Eh? We'll use the, the version latest uh, as a tag. Yeah? So uh, you might re-tag that with the version numbers. Um, uh, if you do that, uh, uh, people using Hangman image, image might get an update um, if there's an update of the software. So it's uploaded now. So if I look at the uh, location, you'll see, uh, wait, I have to reload it. And then you see that the hangman image is uh, here um, on the hub point uh, docker punt com. You see, and it's tagged uh, the version uh, latest. So that's the way you have to uh, push um, uh, think, uh, your images towards uh, the local hub or the uh, hub.docker.com.